Hey guys, back again. Just wanted to show you where I'm going to be fitting this Drift Ghost camera. Um, yeah, you can see the. I guess it's a rack, but I don't quite know what you'd put on it. But it's uh, absolutely perfect for for my uh, use. I've uh, simply put the regular mount uh, with the 3M pad onto it. There is a oblong hole down the middle of the mount so not the full amount of uh, grippy uh, glue is on the on the metal but I think it's going to be enough. Now there was an interesting issue uh, with the way I mounted it originally. I don't know whether you can see all these marks in the plastic. Well it turns out I couldn't work out what was doing that but I never really bothered looking at it too closely but what it was is I had this mount reversed so this release mechanism was round the other way and what was happening as I pushed the camera in that way the front of the lens because it's been spun around it's actually now sticking up above and below the uh, body and it was of course just fouling uh, on here now the way I've got it set up now is you just squeeze that and pull it straight out there's no issues whatsoever uh, I've left enough room, obviously it hasn't got the back cover on at the moment, but there's enough room there to also uh, wire it permanently uh, if uh, I would like to. And for the rear camera, it might be a good good move just to uh, leave it uh, connected to power. Uh, it will act as a standard car DVR, so it will uh, only work when the, there's power applied to it. That's not how it's set up uh, on here at the moment as we've discussed on uh, earlier videos and then I've used this supplied velcro strap uh, to just give it that second layer of uh, protection from coming uh, loose so uh, again it doesn't seem to be bothering the switches um, I've got it so the uh, on and record button is exposed so you can just fire it up you get the single tone once the Wi-Fi has uh, sorted itself out you can then just press the same button to go into record mode which you can see uh, is active just down there so we'll stop it and then turn it off so really this could be left uh, you know permanently attached don't think it looks uh, you know a major issue at the back obviously the strap isn't lovely but uh, I don't really want to risk losing another one I am going to put that Loctite uh, on this uh, now I'm not going to bother filming that I'm sure you can work that one out for yourselves but uh, nice to have this strap included in the drift kit and of course as I said in the earlier video it is actually for uh, holding the remote control onto your uh, outer uh, jacket sleeve so you can record as and when you want but the removal now is much easier I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place grip and pull that's it nothing fouls anywhere so it's not going to leave any marks on uh, the camera or the plastic mount or the, the metal rack so it's slightly pointing up in the air, but the uh, the angle, in fact I'll just fire it up for you. Let me go around the other side. So, uh, I can't get in so close with the screen. Yeah, they've got the camcorder screen out, but you can see where my hand is there. So that should be able to pick up everything that uh, you need. Good wide angle as well on it. So, yeah, I think that is uh, that is what we're going to stick with. Just going to get the uh, lock tight onto that thread, get it tight, and probably strap it in place. I can't really see how I could, you know, tether it a different way, but you know, maybe that's possible. I'll uh, I'll have another look. But if not, you know, the strap's the right length, right colour. Uh, don't think this soft nylon is going to damage 
the screen but if it did I'd be quite happy with that knowing the fact that it's never going off down the road <laughs> so yeah hope that was useful to anyone who has one of these uh, the other thing I said in the last video is about the safety uh, of actually having a camera on uh, your helmet uh, because if you came off in certain impact conditions the uh, camera could damage the shell of the helmet in fact it could be forced straight into it and into your head if you were really really unlucky um, but uh, you know is there anywhere to mount it you know on the front end somewhere uh, yeah not uh, not sure I suppose there is I don't know what sort of field of view you get and of course you would then lose the ability to uh, track objects with your uh, you know with your head so uh, yeah don't know not sure what we can do uh, with that I really can't see how that's going to be fitted anywhere that will give you really good uh, views of anything so yeah anyway all right gone on long enough I'll uh, catch you later